Welcome back to Rod Doing Stuff. Today, we're going to be smoking some corn on the cob. I'm going to make some of the best garlic parmesan corn on the cob you've ever seen or had. So if you like corn on the cob, try this recipe out. It's going to be delicious. I've done this once before and I really liked it. So what I'm going to do, just got the smoker set at 225 and we're going to get this corn put on. We'll let it go for about an hour. Um, we're going to do it about 30 minutes on one side and we'll flip it 30 minutes on the other and then we're going to make a garlic butter and uh, sprinkle it with some parmesan cheese and we'll be good. Alright, so you can see I have my corn in this bucket. I had it filled with water. I let these soak for three or four hours to get some moisture in there. We're just going to put them on the smoker. So we've got our smoker warmed up to 225. I don't worry about pulling anything off. If it burns off, that's no big deal. We're just going to stick them on here. Like I said, we're going to let them roll for about a half hour. Then we'll come back, we'll flip these over, and cut them on the other side. All right, it's been 30 minutes. We're gonna give our corn a flip. We let it keep going. All right guys, our corn's been on there an hour, so I'm going to get our garlic butter going. I already put this in the oven, put a little bit of olive oil with two tablespoons of this minced garlic and a tablespoon of black pepper. I'm just going to put this in here, just let it melt down. By then our corn will be ready to eat. We'll be good to go. It's feeling good. It's about there. All right, so... Our corn's done, our butter's all melted. We're gonna husk one of these ears of corn and see how it tastes. All right, here we go. When you do it that way, see how the silk just comes right off with the husk. And it's really easy to husk too. All right, guys. Look at this. We've got our garlic butter. That looks good. Got our corn. So what we're gonna do is take our corn, just roll it in that garlic butter. Take a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle that on there. You have some of the best corn you've ever had. Taste the garlic and the pepper. Put just a little bit of salt on there. I didn't add that to there because I like everybody to add what they like as far as salt goes. But put a little salt on there. That's good corn, guys. If you like this recipe, give it a shot. If you want to see more like it, come see us on Rod Doing Stuff. Give us a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe. It's free.